group. The Voices of Angels, that's how they've been described, the 40 voices of Winchester Cathedral Choir. This is the choir heard on the best-selling recording of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Requiem. Members travel the world, always returning to Winchester for Christmas and Easter. But it's the final tour for Christopher Hill, who must leave the choir as he turns 13. When you leave, you tend to be very sad because you have put a lot of work into it. Christopher's already planning life after his voice breaks. My mother is a singing teacher and she deals with all sorts of people um, when their voice is falling and um, she helps to get them through it without them um, losing their voice completely. He has another major supporter, choir master David Hill is his dad. It's the same as with everyone else, um, apart from that I get to sit with him on the plane. David Hill says the choir is distinctive. I think it would be the individuality aspect, which is that we, we encourage that, even amongst the boys, to sound really as, they, as they, they are as people. They look different, they dress differently, they talk differently. Kristen Devitt, 10 News. And the Winchester Cathedral Choir launches its Australian tour at Brisbane's Concert Hall tomorrow night. It's the beginning of their first ever Australian tour. John Austin went along to their rehearsal today to hear the sound of angels. The music, the religion, the respect, the discipline. Their values strange to the mid-90s, but to these lads vital to a tradition stretching back a thousand years. Will you please remember to wash and cut your nails, things like that? Not quite angels, maybe. But these boys are devoting their school holidays to the choir's first Australian tour. There's another performance to prepare for. The transformation from boys to something more heavenly begins again. It will be one of the last performances for Richard Collins. At 13, his voice is close to breaking. And whilst this tour will unite him with Australian members of a family he's never met, there's also disappointment. The tingle factor, as you probably describe it, is, is very important. It's by, by way of allowing them to, to listen to something which may bring them closer to something within themselves. And this is a spirituality which is, I think, universal now that people are seeking. And, uh, and, and these sort of choirs, doing the sorts of music, the kind of music that we sing, uh, are a great vehicle for, for enhancing that spirituality. But to sing like an angel may come at a price. This actually cuts into our free time, our holidays. So our term ended um, a few weeks ago. It's a working holiday really, isn't it? Yeah. But it's enjoyable. Singing in a choir doesn't stop you from doing anything else. It's not like, it, just because you sing, you don't, can't do anything else. It's, I mean, I play football and I play other sports and I enjoy tennis and I doesn't, the choir doesn't really stop me from enjoying anything else. For the Collins family, this tour is special. It is Winchester Cathedral Choir at the Performing Arts Centre tomorrow evening. Good night.